Welcome back to One on One Sports. I'm now joined by our NBA experts, Steve Normington and Stephen A. Harris. And guys, today we're going to play a new game, and we're literally going to be giving props to some NBA teams based on their moves uh, from the previous NBA trade deadline. So uh, let's start with you, Steve. Um, the Evan, Evan Turner sweepstakes, I guess. The Indiana Pacers got Evan Turner for Danny Granger. Not the most exciting free agent period, but it's time to break out the cigars, fellas, because this is one heck of a trade. Wow. It sends a big message to the Heat that they had the Pacers have the bench, the best and deepest bench in the league, and they're ready to compete for a title. Well, I'm gonna disagree with you, and I'm gonna give the Pacers a giant bottle of Advil. <laughs> is that is that for all the headaches? Oh man. That Evan Turner didn't deliver when oh, they man. expect him to be one player. No love and for he's Evan Turner. Actually something else similar to what happened to our Philadelphia 76ers. Well, that's because he can play multiple positions, but the real question is that, is that extra strength Advil or is that regular? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I didn't think about that at first. Like, I it should be extra strength. <laughs> I personally don't think the Pacers are gonna need any Advil. I think Evan Turner is a great acquisition. And it's crazy, they traded Danny Granger. Danny Granger already got cut. Mm -hmm. um, so he might end up with Miami Heat, which would really that make would be things great. interesting. Yeah. All right, um, let's look at the Washington Wizards. Actually looking to uh, make a playoff spot here. Um, Andre Miller goes to the Wizards from the Nuggets. Thoughts? Uh, well, my prop, I'm going to give them Shrek 2. Shrek 2. An instant classic. The reason why I'm giving them Shrek 2 was as great as the Shrek series are, and you, you love Shrek 2, and you wanted it to be as good as Shrek, but let's be honest, it's not. As you know, Andre <laughs> Miller's traded for Eric Maynor, and you would hope that's going to be as good, but I just don't think well, Andre Miller's going to be too much Steven, of an upgrade the from Eric Maynor. is never as good. Look, I'm going to get usually give watches. Wow, for, he's taking his own for, watch I'm off. I'm taking my own watch off, so you know it has to be pretty special. But you know, normally these are for retirement. Andre Miller's approaching that, but he's not there yet. The problem with the Wizards are when John Wall isn't in the game, they average 10 less points per 100 possessions. That's a big number, staggering actually, yeah, so when he's absolutely. out of the game. So they really need a backup guard to help John Wall not only grow, but just help make that team better in general. And he, I'm glad you mentioned growing. I mean, Andre Miller is a, a big time veteran presence in that mm -hmm. locker room. He absolutely can help John Wall and he can provide some scoring and assisting off the bench as well. All right, another guy who can provide some scoring and assisting, did a lot for that, of that for the Lakers, will now be going to Golden State, where his playing time will probably be diminished a little bit. Steve Blake. Just a little bit because he's playing behind probably the second best point guard in the league. And here we go. Watch out, fellas. I am bringing out the crutches because this is the only way Steve Blake will see any game time for the Warriors. That's how good Steph Curry has been this oh, season. Oh, wow. So that's for Steph. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I guess a little outside the box, but this is the only way it's going to get at the game. I'm giving the Warriors cough drops. And the reason I'm saying that is because people who don't like the Steve Blake trade will eventually be choking on those words and will need something to help them clear their this throats. This is so creative. This is great. I think the Steve Blake trade is going to be great. Steph Curry, he's a scoring point guard. They need someone who's a true point guard. And now they can run a really well put out three guard rotation. You want to take Clay off, throw Steph at the two, put in Blake. You want to take Steph off, throw St uh, Steve Blake at the one. I think it's going to be great, and people are going to be choking on their words, and they're going to need these cough drops. I just don't like the trade because I don't see where he fits in with this team. But a very good point you brought up, we didn't bring up yet, is that he is a good insurance package, and also it gets them under the cap. Absolutely. Um, I, I like Steve Blake. I mean, he's reliable. He's not going to do anything crazy for you. He's another guy just exactly. like Andre Miller. I mean, you could always use a serviceable veteran point guard. He did have a triple-double this season, though. Yeah, well, I don't see him doing that one again. Next up, our experts will break down the different events of the NFL Combine. I hope someone has the medical staff on hand. Stay tuned.